Yep. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys have uh, um, able to hear me clearly at the moment. Um, if there's any te technical issue happen in the meantime, just pop onto the chat box and let me know what's going on and we'll do our best to fix it um, on the spot. So um, thank you. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar, um, the Residential Solar Product Training. Just a brief introduction about myself. Um, I'm the host for today. I'm Joey. I'm the marketing coordinator for um, Race Tech, and I'm responsible for the social media platforms, organizing events, and most importantly, just letting more people to know about us and what we are doing, doing for the solar industry, which Johnson will introduce more to you guys later on. So um, today's webinar is being presented by Racetag, one of the largest solar distributors in Australia, um, a comprehensive PV solution provider, ACOM, and um, AP System, the global market leader in the micro inverter technology. So before I introduce our speakers, I would like to cover a few housekeeping topics. Um, today's webinar is being recorded. Um, we'll be able to share a link with you um, after the event is complete. Um, Hopefully it will be tomorrow or maybe next Monday and you are receiving a email from us. And in the email, we will also have like a post event survey. Um, and just we would like to hope you guys are able to give us some feedback and let us know how we do for today. And we also welcome you to re revisit the content yourself and happy to share it with the coworkers if necessary. And we also invite your comments and questions. Uh, as mentioned before, um, you can go to the Q&A chat box um, on your screen. If you, have, think, if you think of any question that you would like to ask the speakers, you can just um, tap in there and then we will hold it until the Q&A session at the end of the event. So um, today's presenters are um, Johnson, um, who is next to me at the moment, um, Derek, um, from ACOM and Frank from AP System. Um, Johnson is the um, business de development manager of Racetech. He has been working with um, in the solar industry for more than eight years. Um, in 2013, Johnson started his career in solar wholesale and of course he witnessed the experience all the big changes in the solar industry since then. As a BDM of Racetech, um, Johnson is leading a company to explore all the latest technologies which will support the fast growing business and continuously develop strategies to offer greater benefits and services to our customers. Derek is the um, sales engineer for Acom uh, Energy and he's provided, he provides technical communication with the Design Institute and EPC Institution on ground PV power station support. Um, he also provides independent design schemes, including support BON table and detail drawings, packaging design drawings, loading and unloading tools and equipment, etc. Derek has been managing several pro, um, solar projects um, in Mongolia, in um, China, and uh, in Vietnam as well. So um, um, next to Derek will be Peter. Um, Peter is the product manager and he's looking after the ACOM um, project around Australia. And um, lastly, Frank is the National Sales Manager of AP Systems, and he oversees the National Sales Distribution and Customer Service for AP Systems in Australia. Frank also provides um, product trainings and webinars like, like today um, to the distributors and retailers in order to showcase AP System products and ensure a high level of customer satis satisfaction is maintained. Um, Frank also um, developed a great business relationship with the distributors and retailers and act as a point of escalation <coughs> for any queries and um, issues that arise for the products. So, um, this is the um, agenda of the day. Firstly, we will start with um, Johnson, um, he'll be introducing Race Tech and let you guys know how we operate in Australia. After that, we'll be having Derek from ACOM um, to introduce us the new Hydro Junction technology and the new solar model range that will be available for um, ACOM. And we'll be followed by um, Frank um, from AP System and he'll walk us through the important, important components of AP Systems 
and show some real application of how the microinverters work. And we were having the Q&A session after that. And most importantly, we will announcing a exclusive deals to our attendees at the end of the webinar. So stay tuned with us and um, find out more about that. So at this time, I'm going to hand the floor over to Johnson, who is going to start today's presentation. Johnson, all yours. Thank you, Zoe, for the, um, for the introduction. Uh, and also thank you, Aaron, for uh, coming today. Uh, my name is Johnson. I'm the BDM of uh, Race Tech. Uh, before we pass on the, um, the, the host to our speakers, I'd like to take a quick five minutes introduction uh, about Race Tech Group. Race Tech Group is uh, headquartered in uh, Rockley, Brisbane, uh, established in late 2018 and now operates in four locations with our self-operated sales office and also the uh, distribution centers uh, located in Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria, and uh, uh, Western Australia. <clears throat> in Townsville, uh, in Townsville, uh, we're currently uh, using a 3PL to uh, facilitate our distribution for uh, local uh, customers. They will be mainly Townsville and sometimes Cairns. <clears throat> Outside of Australia, we also have our distribution centers in Thailand and also New Zealand. In Race Tech, uh, at, the, at this stage, we are focusing on uh, four areas uh, in the business. Uh, first one is the, uh, the, the major part of the business is the, uh, the wholesale distribution, uh, including panels, inverters, uh, uh, solar uh, storage and uh, mounting system, and also the uh, electrical components. And then we do uh, have the SCC trading. Um, and of course, uh, the other two, uh, uh, the value add services we offer to our customers, um, which is the uh, after sales support for warranty claims, technical support, or any other uh, issues about the uh, the product, um, and then also the uh, we will organize the uh, the training event with our, um, our suppliers to uh, make sure everyone understands the, uh, the the advantage of uh, the product we sell. So. Um, However, there, uh, this, uh, this, uh, bin, these areas uh, may change a little to refine our business model in the near future, and possibly there will be more value added services to our clients, such as uh, marketing support to our customers and so on. So um, I believe most of you uh, already knew that uh, we are the uh, major distributor of seven panels in Australia, uh, distributing more than 100 megawatt last year and expecting to grow this year. Other than seven, we do also offer other popular and reputable brands uh, to meet our customer demand and also the market demand. This product list is also expected to grow along with the business expansion uh, later this year. The only reason is to, uh, to uh, facilitate our customers' demand and uh, to provide the best support we can for them so they can be just busy on selling, uh, not shopping. However, in summary, uh, we do have strategy brands and supplies that we like to work closely, such as ACOM and AP System, who offer great support to this webinar today. Um, However, at the end, uh, we are not aiming to become a uh, all-in-one shop, and then I'm pretty sure uh, everyone will find our difference uh, in the near future. Um, no job is too little and no customer is treated differently. Um, this is our model, and I do believe anyone who is dealing with us and uh, they would feel the same whenever they talk to our sales rep or uh, when they come to the warehouse for pickup. Um, however, if there's any improvement required and you think that that's going to uh, help us to improve our operation, you're always welcome to give us a feedback. Here's the, um, the contact detail of myself and our, 1300, uh, our national 1300 number. 
if there's any inquiry about sales, technical support, or in relation to this webinar, please do uh, feel free to connect us either directly to myself or call the 1300 number and also uh, uh, to the, uh, the info at racetech.com.au. Um, in regards to this webinar, you're also welcome to send it to Zoe. Um, and then uh, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, pass on the, um, the, the webinar PPT at the end um, uh, of, the, of this webinar and also register you in for the, uh, the CPD point. Right, so um, just a quick reminder again, uh, if, there's, um, if you're registered uh, as a uh, installer and you would need the, uh, the, the CPD point, uh, please ch uh, change your name uh, on uh, your display name on, the, on, the, uh, on Zoom or uh, you can uh, just type in your full name and also the, uh, the license number on the, um, on, the, on, the, on the chat box so uh, we can uh, register your attendance. Okay, um, thank you so much for Johnson for introducing Racetech. Um, so let's just move on, move on to our next speaker, Derek. Um, Derek and Peter will be presenting the new Heathrow Junction technology of ACOM solar module. Um, and yeah, Derek? Yep. Yep, here you go. Okay, uh, good afternoon everyone. Uh, thank you very much for the kind invitation from Race Tech Group. I'm really happy uh, to have this opportunity to come here to make this uh, presentation. Running the micro system, you could consider the, the, the Huawei system, the Huawei, because oh. the, the DC optimizers. And for the interface, for example, like this house, you have to install like a 36 micro inverters mm -hmm. at the back of the panels. But for the for the for the easy optimizer, you can choose select you can select specific panels, like the only five or six panels for the yeah. easy. Other other panels will not shade it, so you don't need to put it. Uh, okay. Yeah, yes. your the panels, uh, would you mind uh, put your iPad to uh, mute for the moment? Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> And I'm really happy to be here uh, to have the opportunity to come here to uh, make this presentation. Let me start by giving you some uh, information about uh, ICOM 38. Uh, ICOM is a public company which is uh, established in 2006. We are running business uh, in over 30 countries with more than 6,000 employees. Uh, we have uh, spied around 15% of the global uh, panel frames. I think it's the top three uh, racking system supplier with the annual capacity of 6 gigawatt. And uh, our annual production um, capacity of motor per is 3.8 gigawatts. And we have tier one certification. We have built a production line um, with an annual capacity of 5 gigawatts HVAC panels. And in the next four years, ICOM's annual production capacity will reach 20 gigawatts. It will be the top one all around the world. And ICOM works closely with uh, our clients to develop and deliver uh, cradle to grave solutions for large scale power stations. And uh, we can supply uh, solar panel frames, uh, racking systems, and uh, solar panels with uh, house manufacturing capacity uh, capabilities. 
ICOM is continuing to really to be innovative and the low cost manufacturer has incorporated the future HGT cell technology into its new coronavirus HGT panel series. And our HGT cell has reached uh, an impressive 24.5% efficiency. And in this in this table, we can uh, clearly see uh, that compared with the traditional mono perk cell, HDT cell has uh, of uh, of advantage in multiple areas. Our coronavirus series can provide uh, you with a variety of options. Uh, such as uh, bifacial panels and uh, uh, that perfectly uh, fit the trade tracking system, as well as uh, a half cut sail, uh, shingle module, and the standard standard panels for small commercial or residential systems. Once in a while, an innovative of a product comes along that brings uh, more benefits. I hope all of us can seize with, uh, this opportunity together with my company. Uh, we, we continue uh, to explore and improve in the laminate the welding technology to achieve another 1% panel efficiency. Combining HGT technology, we are going to have a more uh, technical advantages and uh, provide the best solutions for your systems. Looking at the uh, attenuation, uh, attenuation uh, chart, the panel will generate a higher uh, revenue stream for a longer period of time. As we all know, uh, ICOM 50% uh, uh, of what the panel frames uh, manufactured by ICOM, which of course uh, provides our HGT panels with the strongest frames. As the world's top three uh, mountain system supplier, we provide all terrain uh, adaptable fixed, uh, uh, fixed systems, uh, independent uh, single row, multi points control tracking systems, high stress uh, weather resistance uh, roof systems, which provides additional insurance for HD panels. Okay, let's have a look at the data sheets of our Kukumara series panel, uh, 68 sales. Well, I, I don't, I don't uh, get details uh, in, uh, here. Our 400, uh, our 415 watts uh, panel means that 6.6 uh, .6 kilowatts system only needs to install 16 panels. Uh, which will uh, deliver a uh, saving labor cost and time. And we also supply uh, 60 sales, uh, 390 watts, uh, and uh, 70, 72 sales, uh, 475 watts. And the 475 watts panel means that uh, the 6.6 kilowatts .6, uh, system only needs 14 panels. Okay, just uh, have a quick look here. The data sheet of uh, 66 uh, shingle module. And here we can uh, see 66 uh, sales uh, production timetable.
And for large solar farm, we provide uh, 80 uh, sales uh, HGT panels with a massive power of uh, 530 watts. Uh, yeah, so this news is uh, just uh, from uh, Fetrace uh, Hot News. And uh, this is a single panel that I see here. And of course, we will provide uh, uh, by facial panels uh, for, for the large scale solar power station. And we can see AD sales roadmap and the HDT panels production timetable. All in all, ICON is uh, uh, producing high efficiency HGT products uh, compatible with your solar system requires uh, to uh, generate higher levels to reduce the full life cycle cost of uh, electricity. At the same time, uh, we have done some uh, project cases uh, analysis and that analysis, uh, the use of HGT panels will bring a significant reduction in balance uh, of uh, system cost and uh, minimize the cost of uh, electricity. And uh, we can see we can see here uh, analysis data of uh, 100 megawatts around the solar farm in Xinjiang, China. The balance of uh, system costs reduced 10.1% uh, and the minimized the cost of uh, electricity reduced 2.08%. And here we can see another project, uh, the 100 megawatts ground system in Abu Dhabi. The balance of system cost reduced uh, 13.25% and uh, the price cost of electricity reduced 4.64%. Uh, uh, and here we can see another project uh, uh, 100, oh, sorry, 10 kilowatts uh, roof uh, system from Shanghai, China. The balance of system cost reduced uh, 0.75% and uh, the levelized uh, cost of uh, electricity reduced 1.07%. Uh, uh, These are the Kookaburra series panels that we currently uh, on sale now in Australian market. And uh, we, have, we have been used all around Australia, which is around uh, uh, 50 megawatts for residential and uh, commercial systems. ICON is looking, uh, looks for, uh, ICON looks forward to provide a high efficiency uh, uh, performing Kukumara series panels and uh, ranking systems, including uh, tracking system into the extending local solar panels. Okay, uh, thanks for your attention. Let's build house. Uh, thank you, Jerry. Thank you, David. Sorry. All right, thank you, David, okay. for the information of the um, new technology. And I believe that will help our audience to know more about this um, fresh topic. Um, just a friendly reminder, if anyone haven't changed their name to their full name, um, please do so. Um, uh, so our next speaker, Frank. Frank will be introducing the components of AP Systems and the solution that AP System can bring to us. All yours, Frank. Thanks, Zoe. Um, could you see my screen? Yep. Yes. Okay, um, good afternoon everyone. Uh, thanks for joining the webinar. My name is Frank from AP Systems. So today we are going to go through 
the AP system introduction, the product solution, and also comparing uh, the American orders. So AP system, we are the leading American water supplier. And also we have the local team office, you know, service the each of these units. For example, in US, we have two branch. And in Europe, we have two, one in France, one in Netherlands, and also one, the China, Shanghai, looking after Asia. Australia, Sydney, look after Australia, New Zealand. And also we have Canada, Mexico. AP systems, we are focusing on multiple micro um, We have been company profitable since 2012. And all the micro inverters designed for being proven by 100K installation globally. So we're selling the products to 120 countries. We are, AP system was found in 2000, hello? Is that good? Enjoy. Yes, very clear. Okay. So AP system manufacturing facility set up in 2010 in China. And globally, by the end of the 2019, so over 100 K installations uh, from the small residential, like, you know, took uh, a closed system to the, uh, you know, utility, utility job, like six, six and a half megawatt job. Uh, this is inst installed in China. And also we are the largest multiple um, micro water supplier um, in the world. And next one, I'm going to introduce the roadmap of AP systems in Australia. At this stage, we have two models available. One is dual micro inverters, we call YC600. One for two panel, two independent MPPT. Another one is QS1, it's called micro inverters, one for four panels. And also we have upcoming uh, micro inverters this year, upgrading from YC600. It has higher AC output uh, and much more cost effective. And also we have another one, QT, Two, this one is a true three-phase micro inverter in the Australian market. So input is a full panel, output is true three-phase. This is QT2. And all of, as I said, all of AP system micro inverters are designed for 25 years. And now let's have a look at the AP system solutions. Micro inverters, YC600 and or QS1. Uh, in fact, both of them can be compatible in one screen circuit. And we have Gateway. We have the online monitoring platform we call EMA. So the gate, the inverters on the roof can produce power and the Gateway can collect the data of each panel and then forward the data to the EMA. And there are two uh, communication between inverters we, uh, and the gateway is a Zigbee communication as well as communication between the gateway to the EMA is, uh, is internet. So we can say, so all the communication in AP system could be wireless communication. And now let's have a look at the key features of the WC600. So on my hand, you can see this is one WC600. So it has a, a input one, Input B, this is two independent MPPTs. So even like, you know, we just connect one panel and the inverter can, test, can work. Or one panel is failed, it doesn't matter, another one can work. So totally independent. So this one is antenna, it's a Zigbee antenna for communication. And this is a AC, this tail is, is, a, uh, is a AC tail for the AC output. We connect to the bus cable and to the grid and then the inverter can, can work. So basically the summary is that the YC600 has two trackers, we always say two uh, MPPT. Uh, it has very uh, wide range MPPT voltage range, uh, op operating range. So it's kind of compatible with the panel from 250 watt to 440 watt technically. Uh, in fact, you know, because of the output of the YC600, each channel is 300 watt. So normally people just, you know, use the panel up to 400 watt with YC600, uh, you know, for the STC reasons. And it can be compatible with the 60 and the 72 cells um, panel. 
the total output is two times 300 watt AC is 600 watt AC. The enclosure is IP67 and the communication is Zigbee wireless communication. Uh, even the, the YC600 is a single phase micro models we can use in three phase installation. I will explain in details later. So next one is QS1. The QS1, it has four trackers. It has four independent MPPT and the other features is like the you know, same as, you know, uh, uh, YC600. The only difference is the output. Uh, because of the four input, the total output is four times 300 watt. It's 1.2 kilowatt. So other, other features same, like enclosure ratings and communication technology, and also it can use in three phase uh, installation. In fact, you know, both QS1 and the YC600 can be compatible in one string circuit and the one string uh, uh, in the same system. Uh, next one I want to introduce is the gateway. Uh, we have two more. One is small one, like this. So this one we call the ECR. It's basic, uh, basic one. It can collect the data from the uh, inverters and it can show us the, uh, the, the production from each panel, um, each solar module and also other you know, system information. And we have another one we call ECUC. As you can see, the size of it is much bigger because it has advanced functionality. For example, you know, if we want to do the uh, power export limitation or zero export control or consumption monitoring, we can use this one. Um, so basically, we give the options to the, to the installer, to the customer, uh, you know, select you know, which one is good for them. Uh, another, uh, we, uh, EMA is online monitoring. Uh, it allows the end customer to monitor the system and production, the panel, uh, you know, panel um, output. And also they can access the data through the APP. They can download the APP to their smartphone. So this is one page of the module page. So this is the biggest difference from screen words I missed you know, uh, regarding to the monitoring for the screen water systems, we can only see this, you know, the dashboard, the system information, however, with the AP systems, we, so we can see the panel information and also all of this information are free for the end customer. It's not like other competitor, they, you know, stop supplying all the chart for this functionality. For AP system, we leave the option to the installer they could supply the information data from the installer account. So next one I would like to help is the, the, uh, the level of the uh, monitoring account. So basically we have two levels. The first one is for the end, end user. Another one is for the installer. So with the installer account, you guys can manage all the system installed. And you guys can set it up the uh, other functionalities and also you guys, you guys can see you know, the information to provide system information or panel information. And next I want to talk about is design and installation um, uh, practically really key components and it's hardware on the roof. The first one is monitoring waters and then bus cable and then the end cap. So the, the end cap is used to terminate the end of the bus cable and then uh, the cable is, is connected through the AC isolator, you know, down to the mid box. So as you can see, the components list is very short and uh, maybe sometimes we will use op op optional. For example, uh, this one, we call it, you know, a bus cable, Wacom cap. So if the distance between uh, two metric voltage is, um, you know, over, Meters, so we can use this, you know, Wacom cap to seal the middle of the uh, bus cable longer. Uh, and or oh, this one we call the bus cable unlock tool. Only when uh, replacing the micro inverters, we can use it. Or oh, this one we call a DC uh, male and female connector cap. If you only connect one channel one panel to YC600. Another way is I used, so we need the caps to cover for waterproof. 
So the installation of the YC6 tandem mechanism was the first half installed the racking systems and then attached the uh, YC600 on the, uh, of the PS1 on the racking systems, uh, pull, uh, pull the uh, paddles, connect the uh, DC connection, connect the AC connection from the inverters to the bus cable, and that's just um, all the jobs, you know, uh, uh, the last step is terminate the end of the bus cable. So that's just all jobs on the work. And then just, you know, uh, cable uh, connection between the First, micro, the first micro was to the mid box. So it's not like, you know, other competitors, they may have more accessories, like, you know, you may know, you know, they need a like pure relay, you know, for each branch. So I'm going to explain details of the difference, you know, between AP system and others. But for AP systems, all the components uh, integrate in the micro motors. For us, from the first micro motors to the mid box, there's no um, accessories. This one is the layout of the, uh, you know, the QS1 plus YC600. As I said, you know, we can mix them in the same screen circuit. For example, this one, we used uh, two uh, QS1 plus one YC600 panels. This is one screen circuit. So it's compatible with the, with the, with the, with the bus cable, the same bus cable. Uh, now let's have a look at one example, you know, um, if we have 28 panels on the roof, so this is the list of components we need, micro motors, versus if we use WC600, it will be like 14, half of the panel. Bus cable, 14 drops, and the caps, we need two because um, one string, the maximum WC600 we can install a seven because of the cable size, uh, the bus cable size is two and a half square millimeter. And end caps, we need two, AC isolator, we need two, and one gateway. So that is all accessory we need for these systems. And this one is a simple wiring diagram, as you can see, because you know the maximum per string is seven units, we have to split the system in two strings. So the first one, with the seven micro uh, with um, it's um, 14 panels and connect to the bus cable and terminate to the end with the end caps and the, the cable will go through uh, a connection to connect to the AC isolator and then we just run the normal AC cable down to the mid box to the uh, circuit breaker and the second string the same as the first one so you may ask you know how to do the three phase installation with the you know, with a single, with a, with, with the AP system, Magnum Waters. So it's very simple. So if it's a three phase systems, you just, you know, split the systems into three a branch and the one branch, one string, you know, uh, one string circuit to the face A, another one to the face B, and last one to the face C. So that's it. Just like this one, this system, this wearing diagram could be like, you know, two phase systems. We, one to the A, another one to B. So it's very easy. And you may ask, you know, the, how, how about the, the balance, you know, so normally, you know, for the small residential, it should be fine. If you have one or two more macros in one phase, then another phase should be fine. And the utility, you know, is okay with that. Advantage of AP systems solutions. So, so why, as you, can, as you know, the, macro, the cost of the macro models is uh, uh, a little bit more than the stream, uh, premium stream models. So why, uh, you know, uh, using AP systems, why choose AP systems? So I'm going to talk about the advantage of the AP system solutions. So the first one is safety. So as you can see on the left hand is uh, AP systems uh, uh, systems. On the right hand is a stream water systems. So the difference is the the uh, voltage on the roof. I mean, you know, for us AP systems. The input voltage, just the panel voltage, green water systems, all cables are uh, DC uh, cables, so the voltage, it could be like 600 volt. So um, it could be a risk of the arcing if something wrong with the cable or uh, DC isolators. And so next one is, next difference is the production. So on my right hand is a uh, stream water systems. So like in 
in cloudy day, the production will be lower or because of the, maybe the weather cannot start up. For example, in Sydney, today is a cloudy day, raining um, afternoon, cloudy day and morning, and same as yesterday. So we can see 100% sure AP system micro waters production, like more than spring waters, it could be like over 30% because, you know, the startup voltage of each micro waters is 18 volts. So it allow us, you know, allow the micro waters perform very good in low light situation like Cody Bay. Um, and or you know if there are something wrong with the panels, so for the stream water system is going to like reduce the total output. And because you know AP systems each module can run independently, that means for it will not affect the production for the rest. So one way uh, in the same situation we could say other things we can see the huge difference you know of the production for the uh, micro and the stream you know on this uh, morning well, we as, as 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 I said we can provide the panel level information and also because you know the low um, uh, startup voltage uh, AP system micro what it can uh, you know, uh, work longer every day. Always say it has a, a long solar day. Um, normally, we say we, we can see you know in summertime, it has a one or one half hours you know longer working uh, um, than the stream weather system. For example, you know as I can see the systems, so the system can start up like you know five fifty and stop like, you know, say, uh, say 620. So for the stream water, maybe just to start up like, you know, seven, seven, uh, seven o'clock or, sorry, six, 630 or something. So definitely we could have one more hour, um, more than stream waters. And next one I want to talk about, uh, the benefits I want to share with you guys is the flex uh, flexibility. You know, for the, um, AP system is module level. That means the customer can install a small system at the beginning to meet the value and demand. And after maybe half years or one year, they can expand the system easily. Just to put a couple of panels with half of the quantity of the orders. And we receive many inquiries from existing customers. They installed the system maybe just three or four years ago. Some installed like you know, 80 years ago because we start this is in Australia 2012. So they have so many query to expand the systems. So for AP system, it's very easy. You just put a couple of panels with the macro models and that's it. And that's just all the uh, benefits of comparing with the stream waters. So the next one I want to share with you guys is um, the difference between um, macro models means comparing um, you know a different brand so um, as you know there's a, another brand in the market so it's a single micro waters so let's have a uh, what, what they need for the system normally and so they they need um, of course the micro waters on the roof they need like uh, the gateway we also need a gate, gateway however their gateway have to be you know, cable connection or we say physical connection to the mid box. Sometimes it's not easy to do it because of the size of the mid box is too small. We don't have space in for the gateway uh, and it's for their gateway. And they may need, also need other things like, you know, um, filter or uh, face coupler, the face coupler, you know, because the different uh, communication technology and they have to use the face coupler to pick up the inverters or face, maybe filter if there's some noise in, in the grid. So, and other, other things. So I would like to use one example, show you guys, you know, how much we can save with AP systems. So there's one example. If we use, uh, there are 18 modules on the roof and the way, um, uh, we are going to use uh, the uh, YC600 and as you can see, we, we need other they use 18. So bus cable, we use 9, they use 18. And the other accessories, they have cut for them, like, you know, rely, face cover, we don't need it. 
gateway same one one so yeah. so as you can see we save lots of components and that means we save lots of uh, you know installation time so another thing i want to share with you is the difference between uh, two different uh, communication tech uh, technology i mean uh, the polling communication as i said in ip system it uses zigbee communication in fact you know at the beginning um, i mean so we back to you know 2012 so at the beginning we uh, our product were using um, uh, polling communication however after you know the two years we realized you know it will be easy very easy to affect by the uh, noise in the grid so i can show you you know how it, it affect the communication. So if we have, we only have inverters on the uh, in the system. I mean, so, uh, we turn on the inverters. We switch uh, switch off all of uh, appliance at home. So it will give us very good communication. However, if we turn on the load, like you know, uh, wash machine or pump or other things, it's the noise in the grid affect the communication, and then the inverters drop off no communication between borders and gateway. So, you know, at the time, you know, we, I mean, back to 2012, we received money, you know, um, complying, you know, from the end customers. So they thought, okay, the inverters not, will not work because of, because of no, you know, uh, not reporting. And this is online communication that is, you know, the disadvantage of online communication. And however, this technology is still used by uh, the other brand, um, you know, the, in the Australian market, I mean, face. And AP systems, we moved to Zigbee communication after 2014. So what we can see is pretty good. Zigbee communication is wireless and also each microinverter can be a repeater. That means it can, one gateway can handle more microinverters. Uh, we have one commercial uh, drop. It's, um, uh, all, it's over 200, YC 600. We only use one gateway. So it's very powerful and a very good communication. So I would like to make a summary, some summary um, of the comparing. So AP system, because we use less components, I mean, compared with others, you know, uh, other brand of making what is less components and that's why more cost effective. And because of less components, we save lots of installation time. And because of less components, less failure points. So, and also we use advanced, apologize for the baby crying. Um, yeah. um, and also, you know, because we use advanced uh, well specific communication um, and allow the system, uh, you know, monitoring um, very re reliable. Um, next one I want to share with you guys is a, a feature um, installation. And this one is my favorite uh, because this one is a three megawatt uh, across 33 station, uh, gas station, petrol station in the US. So the reason why I like it, because you know the system is installed in on the, on the roof of the petrol station. That means it has to be very high safety standard and have to be, you know, installed carefully. So this proof AP system, you know, it's a, it's a very good product and for the residential and, and with a very high safety standard. And next one is just a community drop, and this one is over 200k. It's in the US, and you could also find more um, uh, installation videos and training videos on on web. Uh, and um, yeah, this uh, we have so many, uh, you know, uh, informations and, and you know for installation. Um, I think that's all about my presentation so i hand over to zoe yeah um, thank you so much Frank.